everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me for another live video tutorial today on Facebook. Uh, it's March. It's almost a quarter of the way through the year. I can't, it, time goes so fast. Anyway, uh, I wanted to remind you, I sent out an email the other day with um, all our new online exclusives. There are even more than what I had posted. We have a couple of our circle punches are back in stock. We have um, other stamp sets. We have um, lots of kits, great kits, and, and even more. So make sure to check out my online store. The link is below. And check out all the great online exclusives that are not in the catalog. They won't be in the catalog, but they will be online. While supplies last, some things will be restocked. I don't know. We'll just, you know, if there's something you really want, I would suggest you get it this month just in case it sells out. Okay, so one other thing I want to let you know that starting this month with every $50 purchase using the online host code, you're going to get a free embellishment uh, with that order. So um, make sure if you're placing an order of $50 to in make sure you use the host code for that month and I will send you a gift. The gift will not be sent out till the end of the month, uh, just to let you know. So um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I would love to have your order and um, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Today I wanted to make this fun Easter Bunny pop-up box card. It folds flat so you can stick it right in an envelope, but when you open it up, we've got all these great Easter bunnies, some fun paper, super cute. All right, so we're using the Easter Bunny stamp set. Now, there was a punch. It is currently not available. I did not use a punch on my card, um, but I'm going to surmise. I'm not going to assume, <laughs> but surmise that because this will be back in stock not until May, but that this will probably be in the new catalog. No guarantees, but you don't need the punch. The punch only cuts out this one bunny. Uh, and we've got three adorable bunnies here, so they're super easy to cut out. All right, we're going to start with our base, the base for card. I'm using Balmy Blue today. And this is just four and a quarter by 11. And then I've scored it right down the middle at two and an eighth. And then I've also scored it at two inches, five and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and ten and a half. I will post these scoring measurements on my blog so you don't have to write them down. I'll put the link below so you can check back to see those. Now what we're going to do, because it's the same on both sides, it doesn't matter, <coughs> excuse me, which way you turn it, but I'm going to cut down <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't talked to anybody yet today. So my voice is not ready for a video, but we'll just make it work. Okay. I have texted and emailed a whole bunch of people. I just haven't spoken to anyone. All right. So I'm scoring, I'm cutting on all these score lines on one side. Okay, I'm not doing anything down here at the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut this little tab off at an angle and then cut the bottom. We do need this one tab and this is gonna hold our box together. All right, now we are not ready to um, assemble yet. We're gonna do a little bit of gluing. So these are our flaps and we're gonna keep one. This is the back of our card that's going to stay standing up. And then I'm gonna fold all the rest of these down. Let's grab our bone folder. Okay, and then this flap will go back like this. So I have one, don't fold this one down. And this is the front. Oh, that's the back. We're gonna go around like this. Oh, hold on. Yep, okay, we're gonna fold these backwards like this. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there eventually. Okay, then we're gonna fold these around increase them this way and this will overlap and stick together so now we have our one piece that's going to stand up and then our flaps which will all fold down 
okay? So on this piece that's standing up, we I am using some of the, oh, let's see. I'm just gonna get this out and show you. It is called mm, Rain or Shine Designer Paper. Love this paper, super cute, and it's got these like clear, like glossy embossed areas. And this one, I'm using the cloud, the clouds, and this is for the background. So let's adhere this to our piece right here. I want my clouds to shine through. And then on the back, because I need a place to write, I have a piece of white somewhere. What happened to my white cardstock? Oh, it's on the floor. It's fallen off. So this is the side I'm going to write on. I'm not going to stamp anything right now because I'm going to write on whoever I send that to. All right. Now, as you can see, when we fold this around, these flaps are going to be going down like this. So let's add a little designer paper to our flaps. We can kind of just fold that out. And so I'm using, I think this is the same paper at the bottom. So it's like sky and then flowers on the bottom. All right. When you're gluing this down, it will be opposite uh, or upside down from from the um, clouds because this is will be folded down. Then I have a little bit, so you can see this was at the bottom and this is kind of where my, my sky is coming in. But these are the sides, so we're not too worried about that. Okay. I'm gonna fold that down, bring this around. Isn't that cute? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this together. Let's bring in a little bit of tear and tape. And we're going to put our tear and tape just on the outside of that tab right there. Peel that off. And this should just fold over and lay right down. That way you know it's gonna fold flat in your envelope. Okay, so here we have our base. All right, now we have two pieces. These are four and a quarter by two inches, and then I've scored them a half inch from each side. And these are going to be our tabs to hold it together. And this, let me bring this back in. These are, if you can look, these are inside, and these are what my bunnies are glued to, and that helps give the, the feeling of uh, dimension. All right. So our box bottom is two and an eighth. These are two inches. So what I'm going to do is glue one of them or attach one of them and I put it all the way flush with the bottom. If you can see that, flush with the bottom. All right, and glue to the sides. And with this one, I'm gonna put it in with the, the tabs facing forward flush with the bottom. This one has the tabs facing to the back. All right, that's a nice, we can, I'm just gonna use seal adhesive. You can use your tear and tape too, or seal plus. But this, um, this is just a nice, easy way to get these in so that they're even on both sides. And because they're flush with the bottom, we have about an eighth of an inch clearance on the top. Once you get it in there, just kind of press down so that you know it's, it's sealed. And then it's gonna lay flat in your envelope. Okay. Give that a good press. And then we have our, our inside panels done. There you go. Super easy to do. And then here's what the bottom looks like. All right, so let's add our bunnies now. You don't need to see me color cut out and stamp three bunnies. I did these last night and I've cut, I have cut. I just used scissors to cut them out. And for the, I used the blends marker. I used crumb cake, uh, the two crumb cakes. I used uh, gray granite and then smoky slate for this one. So we have three different colored bunnies. And then I just used a light flirty flamingo uh, for the ears. 
Then I've cut, I did a set of eggs and I've used uh, pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, and granny apple green on my eggs with some flirty flamingo. And I use pumpkin pie and granny apple green for a carrot. All right, so let's get our, our bunnies put in. He's my front bunny, he's the cutest I think. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue right here at the bottom and stick him right in the front of my box. Let's just get some liquid glue. I don't want too much because I want most of him showing. Oh, let's get our glue going here. There we go. A little bit of a, a glob in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue him to the front of my box and just give it a, hold it for a second to make sure it sets. Okay, then I'm going to take my little brown bunny and we're gonna glue him to the front, the front of the, of the little panel in there. I'm just putting glue on his feet, the bottom of his feet, because I wanna be able to see him. So I'm just gluing him to the front of this one. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this bunny, but before, to the front of the back panel, but I'm going to do something first. He's going to be holding a carrot because he's got little his little hands here. So what I'm going to do is just trim right on the edge of the hand. Just a little bit. So I've got a, a little slit kind of between his hands. And I'm going to put his little carrot in between his hands. Isn't that cute? So I've got to put a little glue on the back of this hand, just a, a touch, and on the front of this little paw. I'm, gonna, I'm saying hand, but it's his, his bunny paws. And then let's slide him, our carrot back in there and have him holding it. I'm gonna squeeze it just so that that glue sets. You can even put a little glue back here if you need to, just to make sure that that carrot's not gonna go anywhere extra glue. All right. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Hold that carrot. Okay, we're going to put a little glue on the bottom of him right at the right at the bottom and I'm going to glue him to that second tab that I, I um, stuck in. Okay, let's just make sure that's set. Give it a, a few seconds. Cute. Cute, look, it can fold either way. It doesn't matter. So cute. Okay, so I've got a, a strip of basic white, and I think this is 5 eighths of an inch. It's a, it's, I, my Happy Easter's a little bit bigger than look like it would fit comfortably on a half inch. So I did it at a 5 eighths of an inch. Let's just stamp Happy Easter right on the front. All right, I'm gonna flag the ends just because I like flagging. You don't have to, you could do it on a just a flat edge. And I'm going to just pop this up on the front of this front panel. We'll do it kind of right in the middle because I've got my Easter eggs. Oh, I don't think that's straight. Let's bring that up just a hair. There we go. Happy Easter. And we can pop our Easter eggs up. I'm just gonna stick one there. That's all we need. And I'm gonna pop one up right here. And I don't know, these big ones are kind of big. Let's just cut a little piece off the edge for this single egg. This one over here and then I have a bow or I did have a bow maybe that's on the floor too yep it's on the floor too all right let's grab a glue dot this is just a, a cute little bow using the the white crinkled seam binding ribbon 
but you could use whatever whatever ribbon you have. And this is this is a fun project to do with with any type of card. If you have several images and you want to make a little scene, and then I'm going to just trim that off with my ribbon snips. Okay, isn't that cute? All right, what else do we need? You know what we need? We need a couple butterflies. Let's grab, these are our, our brushed, brushed brass butterflies. Say that three times quick. Not easy. I'm just gonna grab a small and a large. And we have kind of this open area. Let's just stick a couple of butterflies on. Because why not? It's springtime and Easter with bunnies and butterflies. And that's it. I mean, that was the thing that took the longest, honestly, was coloring and cutting out the bunnies. So, um, but not hard, just took a couple of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Super cute. I will post the measurements um, on my blog and I'll put the link below. And then if you'd like to place an order this month, uh, I would appreciate it and you'll get some free embellishments at the end of the month. What embellishments? It's a surprise. Um, yeah, I don't know yet, but something good. All right. I hope you enjoyed uh, the project today. Please check back on Friday. We have another fun, fun project for you. Not Friday, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, I have another fun video for you. Um, all right. Thanks, everyone. And I will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.